Greetings, my name is Kerry and welcome back to my channel. It's book diary time again. So this month's book for the Space Iron Book Club is Incendiary by Zoraida Cordova. And this is our pick for, what month are we on? October. That's helpful that I can't remember what month we're on. We're also buddy reading this. We have a group chat on Voxer and like, I'm so behind because I've had so much work for uni this week that like everyone else has already finished it. I think they have anyway, most of them have and I'm I'm up to chapter six. I've got loads of like voice messages from them to catch up on when I've read a bit more. So this is I think YA fantasy. It is about a group of people who have magic abilities called the Mariah and they are oppressed by their kingdom has been overtaken by a neighbouring kingdom um, and the king hates people with magic but also sometimes kidnaps the people with magic and forces them to use their magic against other people. The main character is called Ren and she has the ability to steal people's memories which means that she is not as trusted by the other Mariah. They're quite suspicious of that as an ability and she also has some history of when she was a child she lived in the in the palace and was one of like the king's or the the justices I can't think of the word but like she was made to use her power against other people but she didn't understand what she was doing because she was only a child anyway so that's where I've got to so far I'm liking the character so far I like the the setup of the world I'm finding it very interesting so really keen to carry on reading I'm going to read some now I've just made my lunch it's Saturday I've had a very productive morning I've cleaned my room and I've done my washing and I've got some washing hanging out or I would show you in my room. <laughs> I'm going to the zoo later as well, which is quite exciting. So I'm gonna read a bit while I'm having my lunch and then it will be nearly time to go to the zoo and then I will probably read some more later as well. So I will update you when I've read some more. I don't know what to say about this book. It's it's painful already. I mean, it's good. It's really good. I'm enjoying it. It's fast paced. I love the characters. The magic system is really cool, but it hurts already. I'm only 150 pages in and I'm already hurting from it. It's, it's made me a little bit emotional already. I really like Ren, the protagonist. I just want to wrap her up in a blanket <laughs> and like keep her safe because goodness, I, I think, I mean, I don't know if it's a, like canon, but from the, <laughs> I'm, I'm being very incoherent here, I realise. So Ren's ability is, her magic ability is to steal people's memories and she has this thing in her mind called the grey where she keeps all the traumatic memories that she's taken but also her memories of what she did when she used to be like part of the the justices group of Mariah which I think I mentioned before anyway and then sometimes the memories come to the surface and she can't control them and she essentially has a panic attack and so she has she has PTSD and that's probably why I feel for her having PTSD myself um anywho yeah I don't like I don't know what to say 
I don't know what to say. It's just really made me feel really emotional. But because I like I I care about the characters already, and and so it hurts. This I I can tell this book is gonna be really tough on my emotions. <laughs> right, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there. So it's Thursday now. I have had just very little time for reading this week. So I did read some more of Incendiary on Sunday, and I got to just about halfway through, and I completely forgot to to film an update. And then I have not had any time for reading really since Sunday. So you're getting your update now. Yeah, I'm just coming up to the halfway mark, and I'm really enjoying the book. It's quite intense. It started out as a kind of rebellion type novel, a small group of oppressed people trying to fight back against an oppressive regime, which was quite fun. Because I'm trying to keep these spoilers free, so I'm not going to say too much about what happens, but it's now moved into more of a revenge plot, which is quite, like, I quite like. I don't always like that type of plot, but it's working for me. I really understand the motivations of the characters and why they're doing what they're doing. It's also got a bit of a, a spy feel to it as well. Ren, the main character, this is in the blurb, I think, so I don't think it's too much of a spoiler to say she's kind of infiltrated the court, the palace, and is trying to, like, find a way <laughs> to fight back from within, really. But she doesn't know who she can trust, she doesn't think she can trust anyone, and she's got to find a way to achieve her goals without becoming a weapon for the king and the justice and all the all the other bad guys. It's really cool. I really, really like Ren as a character. I find her really, really relatable. And I think, I can't remember if I said this in my last little update, but to me, it definitely reads like... Ren has PTSD, as that's something that I have experienced. The way she describes the way her mind tries to protect her from traumatic memories, but sometimes they slip to the surface. That's kind of like how PTSD works, really. So I think it's a really good representation of that. Anywho, so it's Thursday night, it's just gone nine o'clock, and I'm in bed already, because I'm tired. I want to read a good chunk tonight though before I go to sleep and then I only have a couple of classes tomorrow and then we have house dinner and then on Saturday it's the start of reading week, it's reading week next week so I have a little bit of time off, not very much because I've got an essay due in right after reading week but I'm going to go and hopefully go and visit my family for a few days if lockdown restrictions allow which it seems like they will do from the moment and I really want to have finished this book before I go so I can take something new to read with me. <laughs> We're fast approaching the end of October as I'm filming this and I have barely finished anything for my Cluedo again this month so I need to try and get through a few more things and write an essay <laughs> and do some reading for my other essays. I've got another one due in at the end of November. I'm gonna sign off there, I'm gonna read some more and probably won't update again tonight because it's bedtime <laughs> but hopefully I will finish tomorrow and give you uh, my thoughts at the end, hopefully. We'll see how I go. Okay, bye for now. Hello, so it's Friday night. I am halfway through chapter 25. Got about 100 pages left to go of the book and it's got so exciting. I had to have a break for house dinner <laughs> and I really didn't want to put it down but my housemate had cooked this amazing roast and so I just had to go and dinner and now I'm here I've got 100 pages to go I'm gonna try and finish it tonight I have so many theories about what I think is happening and I just can't wait to see if I'm right there was a little lull in the middle like the book's been quite fast paced and then in the middle there was a little bit of it it slowed down a little bit when Ren's in the palace and there's so much going on but it's like she's trying to figure out what she can do and who she can trust and then suddenly it's just like the pace has just picked up again so I'm really excited I'm gonna see if I can finish it tonight now and then once I have finished it I'll give you a much longer thing of all my thoughts all my spoiler free thoughts but yeah I'm really like I'm really enjoying this book and I wasn't sure when I started it that it was going to but it's really really good so yeah catch you later okay so it's a little bit later on Friday evening. Oh, it's actually getting a bit late. I need to go to bed very soon. Um, but I finished. I finished Incendiary. Incend incendiary. Incend I'm still not entirely sure how you say this word, which is bad. Anyway, I really enjoyed it. Here is a summary of some of my non-spoilery thoughts about this book. 
I really love the setting. It's a world inspired by the Spanish Inquisition a little bit. So there's a powerful kingdom that is overtaking all these other kingdoms, including the Mariah, who are a people with powers. There are four types of powers which are explored in this book. So there's people who are persuaries who can persuade people to do stuff. There are illusionaries who can create images of stuff. There are ventaries who can tell if people are speaking the truth and can communicate over long distances and kind of slightly read people's minds. And then there's a Robari. So the main character Ren is a Robari and she can steal people's memories. And if she steals too many memories from someone then they are left as a hollow shell. Ren is the main character, it's told from her perspective. I really liked her. There's hints from the beginning that she is a bit traumatised by all the memories that she's stolen. When she was younger she was at the palace, the court of the king of this, what's it called, Puerto Leones? Something like that. This powerful kingdom. I'm putting the book down because it's quite heavy. <laughs> she was made by the, the justice, the head judge of the people, to steal memories and turn people into hollows, which is what they're called when she's taken all their memories. But she didn't understand what she was doing because she was only a child and he kept giving her sweets and was nice to her and kind of like manipulated her into to doing this. So then when she escaped from the palace, when she was rescued by the Whispers, who are the underground group of Mariahs who are resisting this kingdom. She's just felt this deep sense of guilt about all of these things she's done and she's locked up all her own memories and all the memories she's stolen in something she calls a grey in her mind. And then every so often a memory will break to the surface and she will essentially have a bit of a panic attack over it. So when th this first comes up, this thing about the grey where she locks up all her memories and kind of reaction she gets when one comes to the surface. I was like, oh, she's got PTSD. <laughs> As someone who has PTSD, recovering from PTSD, like, I found that really, really relatable. I mean, the time, the world that it's set in, it's not labelled that, obviously, but that is totally, at least that's how I understand the character. There's several different, like, plot lines or, I suppose, genre types, kind of, within the fantasy. It's a YA fantasy, but then it's also, it's got this rebel plot line, so the Mariah, the whispers that Ren is working with. There's a revenge plot line when something happens to someone that she cares about and she's trying to get revenge because of that. There's a spy plot line because she goes back to the palace and has to go undercover and she knows that there's another spy that's been helping the whispers but she doesn't know who it is. She's got to try and figure out who that is. There's a weapon that the royal family are starting to use against the Mariahs and she's got to figure out what that is and where it is and how to stop it. There's some really great characters that she meets like in the palace there's her attendant is a guy called Leo and he's just really fun. He used to be an actor with everything that that implies. <laughs> then the kind of the other central character although we don't properly meet him until fairly near the end is the prince, Prince Castian. He, so he appears, we see him in other people's memories that Ren steals before we actually meet him like, or Ren actually meets him in person. He's kind of this, like, dark, evil character he's represented as, but there's a suggestion that he maybe isn't as bad as everyone believes him to be, and I really like that trope. So I really liked how the book turned out at the end, and I'm really excited that it's the first in a series, and so I'm going to get more adventures with Ren, and I'm really keen to see how her character develops further with some of the stuff that's happened in this book and how she comes to terms with that. Kind of a lot of the stuff that she believed about herself is not really true. She's uncovered some of her memories and realised that there's a lot of stuff that she thought was true that isn't and she's got to come to terms with like how other people have seen her and how that's impacted on her. So yeah, I'm really excited. I don't think the next book comes out till next year, which is a little bit annoying because this one's only just come out this year. I don't know how long a series is. I'm assuming trilogy, but it might be a duology or it might be a longer series. Yeah, but I'm excited that I will get to go back to this world at some point. And so I gave this a solid four stars. There were some, like, it wasn't a perfect book. The second, the middle part definitely was slower than the beginning and the end, but actually I didn't mind that too much. It did have a really fast paced beginning, fast paced end, and then this sort of bit of a lull in the middle, but like I understood why you knew something was coming. There's just this little period of waiting when she's like spying in the palace and yeah. I think that's all I've got to say, so I might actually, for once, get this book diary up before we have the discussion, because it's still a couple of weeks away.
who knows because I've got so much editing to do. If we have already had the live show by the time I post this I will link straight to that live show. I've also just picked our book for November which is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. So I've ordered that and that's coming soon. So that's very exciting. I'm really looking forward to picking that one up because I've heard so many good things about Rebecca Roanhorse as a writer. I haven't read any of her books yet. I think it was Kayla got me Trail of Lightning. Kayla from Crack Into a Good Book got me Trail of Lightning for my birthday. So I'm looking forward to reading that at some point as well. Yeah, but that's it. So if you've read Incendiary, let me know what you thought of it, whether you liked it or didn't like it. If you've read anything else by Zoraida Cordova as well, I'd love to hear if you've got any recommendations of what I should read next from her, because I really liked her style of writing in this book, so I am keen to like pick up something else. I think she's done some urban fantasy, which I might check out next. Yeah, so please like this video if you liked it, and please subscribe if you haven't already. You can also follow me on my social media. I'm on Twitter and Instagram and Goodreads. All the links for that will be in the description box below. And also, yeah, I'll link to the Space Sirens account stuff so you can follow that too. And that is it for today. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you again soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.